All right, I just got home. Had to go to the bathroom real quick. And now I'm gonna go check on what animals we have left. <clears throat> I pretty much sold all my animals. I got two more goats. And then all I got left is cats. So, <clears throat> I don't know if Judas is here or not. He's always telling people that he's always on the land trying to fulfill my unrealistic expectations. But yet he's never here. <clears throat> and when I leave and come back, it looks pretty much identical to the way it was when I left it. <sighs> or worse. Occasionally he might get something done, but very rare. So I'm pretty much done with him, but you probably already knew that by now. So anyways, Tuesday, my weather and Trig are going to a new home where they will basically just be pets. <clears throat> Pockums, pet organic composting machines. And why are, why is the weather in this yard? They're not supposed to be rotated until next week. Unless he's trying to make my goat have parasites so it dies. See, he's always sabotaging me. Doing fucked up shit like this. So, yeah. He separated him from the rest of the herd. Fucking asshole. And this is why I document shit. Hey, weather. Matt. <sighs> Sorry, two can play that game. I'm just going to open this bitch up all the way. He's already had his parasite medicine in March. So he's probably going to be okay. Make sure there's no more dead goats. Which is funny why he would separate him and not Trig. It's not like he can get any goats pregnant. He's a weather. And he knows Trig's not his. So why would he separate the weather and not Trig? So yeah, this is why I've been documenting stuff. He sabotages me all the time. He's trying to make the weather sick and die. He's a fucking asshole and a douchebag. And this is why I check on the animals when I come home because I never know what the fuck's going to happen or what's going on. You know, he's real nice to my face and kisses ass, but then he stabs me in the back. And this is why I got to get rid of him. Make sure there's no more dead goats. 
because I wouldn't be surprised if he kills Trig. He wanted to put her down in the first place, and now that he realizes my mom's not going to let him have her, he could try to kill her. Oh, good, he moved his trailer. He might have took Trig with him. Hopefully not. What's this? So yeah. Apparently he's got some place to go now, probably Bill's. But that's all right. Bill will learn that the fucking parasite will bleed him dry. I bet he stole Trig. But I'll stick my mom on him for that one because uh, Trig belongs to my mother. And I'll s stick Judy on him too because Judy will go after him. Because Trig's going to be, or supposed to be, Charlotte's. Interesting. See, I'm always coming home to weird shit. Like I said, that's why I'm documenting things. Videotaping everything. Because, yeah, he's talking trash on me to my business associates, my customers, people within the community, people within the county, all over the county. So when people come to me and say, oh, well, Judas said this, I'm like, well, I got video evidence. So you want to believe my video evidence or do you want to believe his hearsay, his lies? So, yeah, pictures and videos are worth a thousand words. So yeah, I'll go check on the cats real quick. Give them some extra food, because I'm sure he's not feeding them. That's another thing, he's been disparaging me because I haven't been buying cat food lately. I've been buying the cat food for the last seven years. He hasn't hardly bought any cat food or goat food or anything. So it's about time he buys something for a change. Yeah, he's trying to slam slander me because I haven't been buying cat food. Well, I actually have got cat food. He just doesn't know that. Hey, Swirl. Hey, Mimi. So, bread. I guess he ran out of cat food and he's not buying anymore, so now he's feeding them other crap. No, looks like he's got some kibbles and bits. So he is feeding them still. That's good. Oh yeah, I took my cage. Yeah, he's got two more weeks to clear out. He's got a couple more days. Oh, he's been feeding them cat dog food. 
fucking idiot. give them dog food, but I mix it in with their chat food, so they're not just getting 100% dog food. Anyways. <clears throat> so he still hasn't figured out that I got cat food in this cat house. <laughs> He hasn't even looked. See, that's how much he pays attention to shit around here. to clean this cat house up so I can probably go ahead and take at least one of these blue containers out of here <clears throat> like I said this was the dog food one but it's empty now oh maybe this is the cat food that Judas bought hi little kitten there's a little kitten Okay, so here's the cat food that Judas bought. I'm not sure what kind of cat food it is, if it's quality or not quality, but at least he's putting the diatomaceous earth in there and stuff. So I'll give him credit for that. And at least he is buying cat food, so I'll give him credit for that too. It's about damn time you buy something around here. Hey little kitten, don't you cry. Candle's gonna give you some pumpkin pie. Or something like that. Yeah, I gotta get in here and clean this place up. Oh, yeah, let's get this tub out of here. So I can start cleaning up this cat house. He didn't get rid of Trig. But <clears throat> I'll find out this evening. Because, yeah, he even asked my mom if he could buy Trig from her. And she said no. Because my mom knows how he treats animals. He's abusive to animals. He neglects them. He abuses them. Now, he doesn't directly abuse the goats. I will give him credit for that. But he neglects them and indirectly abuses them. So... You know, it's like he just lets them die. I don't understand. You know, he acts like he cares, but... I mean, he talks like he cares, but he don't. So anyways...
it's warm. Ah, it's June. So yeah, the chicken feeder still goes off every day. Oh, he brought my cage down that he broke. I'm still waiting for him to replace that. See, this cage, he had there was a raccoon in it. And he threw it in the pond to drown the raccoon. And the raccoon tore up my cage. Is he going to replace it? Yeah, right. So, the feeder's been going off. Um, so that'll attract mice. Ugh. Those eggs are still back there. And then the cats will eat the mice. Let's see how much food is left in here. Not very much, I'm sure. I'm going to put... The rest in the chicken feeder. Or, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know what's in this container. I'm about to find out. Probably died from this affair. It is. <laughs> so what I could do is mix the diatomaceous earth in with this diatomaceous earth. No, no, no. I've already got my Blender. I'm gonna okay. No, I'm gonna use this blend for gardening. For uh, I'll make my garden blend with this diatomaceous earth to keep worms and bugs down off of the plants. Right. Meanwhile, I'll just fill the feeder up. With the rest of this crap, and it'll attract rodents for the cats to eat. There we go. That'll work. And there's dog food in there too, so the cats will eat that. And then uh, once that's empty, I'll start uh, putting cat food in there. What I do is... Uh, Oh yeah, there's this one. Good. 
That one's empty. I'm pretty sure it's empty anyways. Oh yeah, it's got the gravel grip stuff for the chickens. Alright, put this in the feeder. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to get some short time or something because it's hot. That's why I want goats and chickens because they keep the bugs and the weeds down, and then I can run around in shorts. But fuck, I can't keep them alive. When I'm on the road. Because they keep dying from neglect. So. <clears throat> yeah. He still got his camper here. He needs to get rid of that too. <clears throat> well, at least he didn't steal my trailer. <laughs> or trailers. My mom's got padlocks, uh, trailer hitch padlocks she's going to put on them here uh, shortly when she comes down Monday. Today is Saturday. Check out my garden. So far, so good. I got potatoes, I got uh, cantaloupes, and I got watermelons and cucumbers. I'll come down and water them in this evening. <clears throat> I did um, a drought resistant um, deal in the bottom of my lick tubs. I put uh, basically like milk jugs and juice bottles in the bottom to collect the water and then there's my elderberries they're doing good my che tree so far so good I got a cloning tool that's supposed to show up Monday not cloning uh, grafting I'll start grafting those <clears throat> Because I'm concerned that David might try, or Judas might try to kill them out of revenge. He's very vengeful. And it's like, I don't even know what he has to get revenge for because I'm the one who's been supporting and taking care of him all these years. But I guess he's resentful because I'm taking away his uh, handouts. How dare I? He's always preaching, if you don't work, you don't eat. But he doesn't practice what he preaches. And then he gets mad when I take away his handouts. There weren't supposed to be handouts. There were supposed to be hand-ups. He was supposed to be helping me help him. But no, he just helps himself. He don't care about me. So I finally had enough. Now I look like the crazy one. Meh! I 
thought I heard goats, but I might have been hearing things. So we'll go check out his so-called garden next. This is what he's so diligently working on. Trying to fulfill my unrealistic expectations. You know, it's like I get more done in a day than he gets done in a whole week. It's crazy. I also need to mark something, maybe put some stakes in the ground where these T-posts are supposed to go. Like, say, so many feet away. Just in case he tries to pull them up and make me start over. I just don't trust him. You know, he's a sabotager. And uh, I wouldn't put it past him if he goes and pulls up all my T-posts to sabotage me. So, like I say, that's why I'm doing video documentation for everything. All right, so this is all the so-called hard work David's been doing, trying to fulfill my unrealistic expectations. Doesn't hardly look like he's done shit. Yet he goes around telling everybody he's trying to fulfill my unrealistic expectations. Something like that. Yeah, it's funny how he's like, good afternoon. Yet he talks trash on me to everybody who will listen. He's like real sweet and innocent in my face. And then he stabs me in the back like a Judas. <laughs> Yeah, he put on a good show last weekend. Trying to convince my mother that he was a poor thing. But my mother wasn't buying it. Yeah, I, I used to think he had multiple personality disorder. And maybe he does, but I doubt it. He's just a two-faced son of a bitch. But that's all right. I made contact with his stepdad. He don't know it yet. So I'll be uh, visiting with him next weekend for Father's Day. When I go visit my own father as well. <clears throat> a funny story I uh, contacted his stepdad and uh, I said this is Kano I think I said my name I said I'm, uh, I used to be friends with Judas <laughs> also known as David Ray. And he laughed and he goes, he is a Judas, isn't he? <laughs> and uh, 
He asked me how I was doing and that stuff. And I said, well, I was just calling to apologize. He said, what do you have to apologize for? I said, my blindness. <laughs> and he's like, nah, 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 you know. So we talked for a minute. And, uh, but yeah, he invited me up. So I'm going to go up and visit next weekend. <clears throat> so let's see if my container is cleaned out. Oh, look, the door's open. That is a good sign. So, looks like we're making progress. I don't know that he knows I've been video documenting everything, but I really don't care. Make sure my mom and um, what's his face, his bricks are still here, run. Don't want people running off with Ron and my mom's bricks. Looks like they're all here. Yeah, this is how he leaves my stuff. This is how he treats my stuff. Yep, I thought I fixed all the holes, but I guess I missed one. Not the heek. God forbid he would. See, look at this. This is how he treats my shit. And this is why I'm getting rid of him. He doesn't give a fuck about me and my stuff. This has been sitting in the mud for seven years, and I've been harping on him for five years to get his crap out of here. And this is exactly why. Fucking douchebag. Anyways, like I said, I hope Trig's here. Otherwise, I'll just, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but he's already accusing me of stealing his goats. So he'll just say that, well, you stole mine, so I stole yours. Or whatever. Or he'll just say it's his and it's not mine and I'm lying. Either way, if she's here, then... Yeah, she'll be going to her new home Tuesday. <laughs> All the locks are locked. I think he has a key though still to the red locks. My mom's supposed to get new keys made for the locks, but she hasn't done it yet. I know he ain't got the key to the gold lock. So my stuff's all right. I have to check the odometer, but I don't think he's drove my truck. I think he used Bill's truck. So anyways, I guess that's it for the update. Let's do a walk through for the greenhouse. Yeah, 
Yeah, do a walk through the greenhouse, see all the trash. I gotta get those out of here too before he steals them. Yeah, I don't know how anybody can live in filth like that, but <clears throat> it's whatever. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> so, just cleaning house. And it's good that he's showing signs of leaving. So, hopefully he leaves on his own accord and I don't have to go have the sheriff remove him because I will. I'm not afraid to. <clears throat> so what I'm looking at doing is with the two new investors is basically split this there's two parcels here. The back half is like seven and a half acres and then the front half is like seven and a half acres. What I'm planning on doing is splitting this front half in half and set and putting a road down the middle and then selling off this half and this half to my new potential business partners. <clears throat> Cause they actually want to buy in. And then <clears throat> if they, uh, decide they want to sell out later I can always buy them out you know or you know if it doesn't work out or whatever and then uh, I'll just look for another investor who wants to buy in and I'll just do that and uh, meanwhile tomorrow I'm gonna to go look at another property that is 78 acres uh, and it's a decent deal it's a little high but um, not any higher than what I'm already paying for the most part. So, and if I do that, then I could probably just sell this whole thing. But I don't know, we'll see. Since I've already got, <clears throat> if I sell off these two parcels, I'll be able to pay that off completely. I'll start a new mortgage over there and then I can just pay on it. <laughs> and if there's a collapse or whatever, then at least I own this. And, uh, but if I'm able to keep paying on it and I pay it off, then boom, I got more land. I can do whatever I want with. I can rent it out. I can subdivide it and sell it. I can do whatever I want. So, then I got that other 20 acres over there. I'm going to start buying people out in that as well. So that's my game plan, basically. Uh, subdivide the front half sell off the left and the right pay off this property and then buy the uh, 80 or 78 acres over there as I'm making payments on it I'll start buying out people on the 20 acres and uh, go from there <clears throat> I kind of don't want the 78 acres because um it's a little further away, but it's not that much further away. It's like 10 minutes from here or 10 miles from here. So, but my other two properties are only like three miles from here. So, yeah, but 78 acres would be a lot more land for animals, you know, to run animals on. So that's what I'm thinking about that. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not like... 
I got to worry about my job or anything. Not for at least another 10 years. But we'll see what happens. All right, bye.